Uh, court in the UK upheld the United Kingdom's plan to deport undocumented migrants. Uh, this was in an appeals court hearing today. Yeah, opponents argue that the deportations undermine the, quote, basic dignity of people seeking to escape war and oppression. Immigration rights advocates and public employee unions sought to reverse a ruling in the UK that allows the first flight to depart to Rwanda on Tuesday. The number of deportations for the flight has reportedly reduced from 37 people to now just 11 migrants. Prince Charles has weighed in, allegedly described the policy as, quote, appalling in private conversations. Joining us now from London is CBS News foreign correspondent Roxana Saberi. Roxana, help us understand what's going on here. Tell us what's the purpose of this deportation plan. Oh, Lana, the British government has said it will deter undocumented migrants from crossing the English Channel from France, and it will save lives, they say. Prime Minister Boris Johnson said today that the plan breaks the business model of traffickers. Nearly 30,000 undocumented migrants made it to Britain on small boats last year, and that's a huge spike from previous years. The journey across the Channel is perilous, often deadly. The flimsy boats risk capsizing, leave their pa leaving their passengers to drown. But since the controversial deportation plan was announced in mid-April, more than 3,500 people have made that crossing anyway, and that's according to government figures. So what are human rights groups uh, and these different entities that are suing to block the plan? What are they saying against it? Tony, the groups that challenge that policy today in court say it's inhumane and will put migrants at even more risk than before. They say the government would be forcibly removing asylum seekers from Britain and sending them to a country where they don't want to go. They also say the migrants will suffer even more trauma after fleeing war-torn countries like Afghanistan and Syria. The U.N.'s refugee agency has also criticized the plan, saying Britain will be neglecting its legal obligations to give asylum to people seeking safety. The agency says people fleeing war and persecution deserve compassion, not to be traded like commodities. And because of all the last-minute legal challenges to the plan, as you mentioned, only around 10 migrants are now due to be on that first flight to Rwanda, set for tomorrow. And Roxana, I mentioned that Prince Charles weighed in and criticized it. Is that significant? What Might that make a change in the policy? Well, uh, it's unlikely to make a change in the policy, but it has set off a debate here in Britain because he is heir to the throne and the monarch is not supposed to get involved in politics. In recent months, he's been stepping into his, his mother's role more and more as the 96-year-old Queen Elizabeth has had to scale back some of her activities. One paper over the weekend warned the prince to stay out of politics, while the conservative mail on Sunday said, we will not back down on Rwanda, Charles. We asked the prince's household for a response. They told us they don't comment on private conversations, but, but that the prince remains politically neutral. Lana hmm. and Tony. Right. A lot of the politics and the positions echo things we've heard and seen in this country. Yeah. All right, Roxana Saberi for us in London. Roxana, thank you very much. You bet.